I'm curious to know, because you're originally from Montreal, is there a reason why you didn't go back to participate in the star system in Quebec? <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, we really have two different um, arts communities in Canada. And I mean, you know, Montreal is a, is a very, very interesting place and it, it really has two different worlds going on. So on the, on the one side, you've got, um, you know, the sort of outward looking, uh, very international, you know, house music scene and in Montreal for, for, I'm talking specifically for dance music. Okay. And then on the other side, you've got this, what you're referring to, which is that, that Quebec star system, mostly, um, you know, um, French language music. Um, that's, that's really focused on that, that French language and French identity. Right. So, I mean, I would say they're, they're two very, very different worlds that are coexisting there. And the, where, uh, you know, on the English side, it's much more aligned to what's going on in Toronto in terms of the people that are coming through the artists that people are bringing in and the type of music that's being made and the type of nightclubs that, that happen and the events that, well, that were happening <laughs> before the pandemic. Uh, but then on the other side, you've got this whole other, like you're referring to the star system and it's uh it's much more aligned with what's going on in france and uh, and you know in some in some cases with the rest of the francophonie in uh, in africa and mostly in africa really because that's where most of the french-speaking countries are right um so yeah it's it's uh it's kind of a two two tiers of of uh that that star system going on there or that you've got the star system on the one side and then you've got the, the underground canadian music on the other side and then you've always got you know the big you know the big international names that are kind of tied into the the big promoters and a lot of the radio stations and that kind of stuff and and that's more you know um coming from the american companies that operate up here because we do have a lot of american companies operating up here and they're uh they're pushing you know aside from the CanCon stuff, which is really an anomaly <laughs> um, and, and doesn't exist in the internet world. Um, so it's, it's quite a, you know, there's a lot of power uh, dynamics and there's a lot of corporate interests in the art scene. Um, and then, you know, I, the music that I make doesn't even really, like it doesn't even register on those people's radar, you know? 